hey, let's do some mobile photography and filmmaking. What app are you thinking? It's gotta be Beast Cam. Nah, it's gotta be the Mobile Pro Camera app. What Wait, are you talking what? about? Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos with Fats. Today we're here to talk about two iOS apps that give you full manual control over your camera for both photo and video. Let's get started. So, today we're going to be talking about the Moment Pro Camera app from Moment and the Bscan Pro Camera app from Bscan. So, the Moment Pro Camera app has been out for quite a while at this point. Moment has introduced both a time lapse and a slow shutter mode for long exposure, and they discontinued their Android app. On the other side of that coin, the Bscan Pro Camera app came out last summer and has never offered time lapse or long exposure control and has only been for iPhone. So now I'm going to mention some prices and it's very important to remember that the price that I'm listing is the price that was listed when I edited the video. Both Moment and Bscript frequently offer deals on these apps so stay on the lookout for that. Now, the Bscan Pro Camera app from Bscript is going to run you about 15 bucks, which is twice as expensive as the Moment Pro Camera app. That being said though, I do use the Bscan Pro Camera app almost exclusively when recording any sort of video that requires audio, so keep that in mind moving forward. The Moment Pro Camera app is gonna come in pieces. You can purchase the slow shutter pack, I think it's like $3, and that'll give you the time lapse and the long exposure control that you won't get on the Bscan Pro Camera app no matter what. Now, I could just sit here and ramble on about the Moment Pro Camera app and the Beast Cam Pro Camera and you can get very little from this video, or I can try and be hyper-organized and provide some sort of solution so that you get value from this. That being said, my solution is a Venn diagram so that you can see the similarities and the differences between the two lenses, just like you would see the similarities and differences between things in like the second grade. Let's freaking get to it. In terms of similarities between the Moment Pro Camera app and the Bscan Pro Camera app, both are going to feature full manual control for both mobile photography and filmmaking. Both are also going to offer visual analytics tools like zebra stripes, focus pulling, and false color. Both apps are going to offer audio control, though it does look as though the Moment Pro Camera app's audio control is a little more sophisticated. Both apps are going to offer you the opportunity to create presets. I really wish that I was better at doing this, but I'm not, so we'll move on. You also get a number of visual guides in both apps, like the grid for the rule of thirds and all that kind of fun stuff. In both the Beast Cam app and the Moment Pro Camera app, you will be able to de-squeeze 1.33 and 1.55 times anamorphic lens footage. Speaking about that de-squeezing, this is a good opportunity to thank Christopher Russo for watching. He asked me if I could take some photos on the anamorphic lens in the portrait mode so that there could be some bokeh in the background, and then I'll throw it into Final Cut and try and squeeze it in the right direction so that we can see what it looks like to have bokeh and the anamorphic lens footage and all that kind of fun stuff. In terms of photography, both apps are going to offer a number of different image formats for you to choose from, from the JPEG to the RAW. Moment offers TIFF, I don't think Bscam does. In terms of the differences between the Moment Pro Camera app and the Bscam Pro Camera app, You'll find those slow shutter modes for time-lapse and long exposure that I mentioned on the Moment Pro Camera app. No such equivalent exists for Bscam. you also, with the Moment Pro Camera app, get access to the flat and log color profiles. We'll see how legit those are a little later on. In the Moment Pro Camera app, you'll also get access to RBG scopes and lumoscopes, which just help with your exposure and saturation levels while you're shooting, which makes it easier when you're editing because you don't have levels that are all out of whack. The Bscan Pro Camera app offers a number of different stabilization settings. I did a whole video about that if you want to check it out up there, whereas the Moment Pro Camera app doesn't seem to offer any sort of stabilization settings. The Moment Pro Camera app you'll also be able to attach your DJI gimbal to. I don't think you can attach any sort of gimbal 
Magic and the Beast came out. So, in my experience on shooting with both of these apps, the biggest chance of something going wrong is related to frame rates. Now, we're going to capture all these frame rates, compare them head to head, and we'll be able to definitively tell you whether you should do the Beastcam Pro Camera app or the Moment Pro Camera app. Yeah. So, Future Joe here editing this video, and I'm here to tell you that the Moment Pro Camera app had some sort of bug, glitch, whatever it might be. None of the metadata that has been there in the past, metadata being information as to like my exposure levels, white balance, what frame rate I'm using, what camera I'm using, blah, 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 blah. None of that information is correct for all of the videos that I recorded for this comparison. Fortunately, I screen recorded the whole process, so I know when the frame rate is, what the frame rate is supposed to be, and I've already checked out the footage and everything, and it's clear when frame rates are dropped that frames are dropped. So we'll get back to things, and it'll be clear for you too. Yeah. Let it be known that when I came out here this morning, I intended to use the correct shutter speed, but my filter and the mount of the filter will not fit over the beast cage, and I can only mount the beast cage to this tripod. So here we are. This 60 frames per second is where I've been failed in the past, especially with the Moment Pro camera. I don't even know that I've tried to shoot 60 frames per second on the beast cam, because I've had such little success with 60 fps i actually would like to make a video about frame rates on your smartphone so if you'd like to see a video about that comment for the moment pro camera app i'm going to capture all of these frame rates in the default flat and log color profiles and screen capture everything so that you can see how the frames get dropped Twenty-four frames per second flat. Twenty-four frames per second log. Log is very similar to what raw files are for mobile photography. Let's move on. Sixty default may be okay. So, as you just saw from that screenshot, we're expecting dropped frames here. I'm expecting to not be able to understand what I'm saying, and I'm expecting all of my hand movements to be super jumbled up and jittery and glitchy, and it's not going to look good. So, yeah. I am interested to see whether the flat color profile has performed better than the wall color profile, but we'll see. I probably won't even be able to understand what I'm saying right now.
So, interested in Beast Cam? I've done a full review of the Beast Cam Pro Camera App, as well as a test of the Beast Cam Pro Camera App's stabilization features. So, go ahead and check out both of those linked in the top right hand corner and in the video description. While I have not had particularly flattering things to say about the Moment Pro Camera App during the course of this video, I will say that I use the Moment Pro Camera App to shoot long exposures like I did in our video about long exposure photography on your smartphone, which is up there in the top right hand corner if you're interested. And I also have used the Moment Pro Camera App, or at least tried to, to do some astrophotography on my smartphone. You can check out the video up there if you're interested in astrophotography on your smartphone, though I'll go ahead and let you know that the Moment Pro Camera App did not work quite as well as I expected it to for Astro. That's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It definitely helps photos with friends out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Because of the algorithm. Comment down below and let me know whether you're going to download the Beast Cam Pro Camera app or the Moment Pro Camera app. We can discuss all the specifics and help you make the right decision for your mobile photography and filmmaking journey. As always, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell because we're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, unboxings, anything that you could want to know if you like taking photos and videos with your phone. Doodles, see you in the next one. Bye. In the course of this video, I've shot with some Moment lenses. If you want to learn more about Moment lenses, check out the full Moment lens review up there in the top right hand corner. Thank you.